the master plan for this expanded campus has really been about connection, academic connection and physical connection. And this building continues that pattern of connection. We at the University of Toronto Scarborough are playing a big piece in future undergraduate growth. And in order to do that, we wanted to build the kind of world-class facilities that students who come to the University of Toronto so badly deserve. We have the space to accommodate new research. And with the accommodation of new research, we have the need for help and the need to integrate undergraduate training into our research in order to get done what we're doing. The expansion of space, the availability of space expands research, the expansion of research expands undergraduate opportunities. We want to connect the many constituencies that work inside the building, students, faculty, researchers, to each other in the informal ways that spark discovery and new ideas. And the building is really designed to to spark those connections. People can come in, they can discuss their chemistry, their science with each other in meeting rooms, but also on corridors. Everywhere where you go is you have uh, blackboards and whiteboards, as well as glass uh, uh, panes where you can write on and you can sort of discuss things with each other. I think the earth tube is definitely one of the feature technology um, that apply to this particular building. Typically for an earth tube to be um, extremely efficient, you will be doing this system in a very big greenfield site. The solution that we've come up with is to um, literally snake the tubes underground. It's one of those things that it looks simple, but it's actually a little bit more complicated than that. In thinking about the, the development of solar shading, for example, on the south and west sides of the building, we really looked to natural phenomena, the movement of water, the movement of wind, and the movement of sun, to really shape those, uh, those sunshades in a really natural and organic way. I think a building that is devoted to environmental sciences and chemistry, by definition, must strive for the highest standard of sustainable design. And we're really thrilled that this building will be LEED Gold certified. That's difficult to do in a lab building, which are big energy consumers. And to do so in a way using many devices and, and, and drawing on the kind of energy in the ground as a sort of fundamental part of making this building sustainable for the long term is, is a significant accomplishment.